Hey there YouTube, it's Matt Bowler with a nice little purchase here of four quality autographed 8x10s in this box, this mailing box. And when I got this box on my porch, I'm like, what the heck is that? It's And it's crunched. But it, it's okay. Um, something a little different here. <laughs> you know, it's, it's definitely crunched. But inside of it was this. So can't wait to open this up. And there should be four autographed 8x10s. Bought this all from the same seller on eBay. Back with some money that I had in my PayPal account back in December. All with some COAs. That's cool. All right. I mean, a COA is only worth what they're... Isn't even sometimes even worth the paper it's printed on, but nonetheless. Okay. Oh, very cool. And this is on like a thick... Car, you know, thick paper here. All right, all right. Well, that's cool. Thanks for the COAs. I will include these and keep these with my photos. All right. So let's just go in the order with which I received them. Now, these are very glossy. That's cool. I'm pretty sure the person that sold these to me does a lot of graphing. This person lives in Florida, so I'm imagining spring training and whatnot. But, um, yeah. So first up, we got Steve Blass in what looks like a super old school photo. Look at those dugouts. That is so awesome. Just walk in and out of it. He's just chilling, having a good time. Big old cheesy smile there from Steve Blass. Nice autograph. That's a good autograph. His shorthand autograph is like STBL, which I've gotten that a number of times, and that, that's pretty cool. So thank you, Steve Blass. Winning pitcher from the 1971 World Series Game 7 winner, Steve Blass. This one looks so cool. Look how happy Doc Dre, or Doc, Doug Drabeck is with the 1990 NL Cy Young inscription. And look how nice that handwriting is. I mean, I even double-checked. Like, is his writing really that nice? <laughs> and, um, yeah, there's a nice picture right there, Doug Drabeck. A little Three River Stadium action. Oh, wow, we got Kent Tacolvi, the rubber band man, the tall, skinny nightmare, 1979 World Series champs. Man, he was fierce. Eight consecutive games. Yeah, or was it nine consecutive games? Oh, I should have looked that up. Anyway, won't happen nowadays. You don't get them like that anymore. Oh, my gosh, we got Teak, Kent Tacolvi. Enjoyed listening to him on the TV as well, before and after games too. Really good guy. Really friendly guy. And he's a really friendly guy as well. But you'd never tell by looking at this photo. Holy crud, he looks so ticked. Look at him chewing out that umpire. <gasps> Look at the vein in his neck. Ah! <laughs> Doug. Oh my gosh. I was going to call him Doug Drabeck. Oh my goodness, I'm getting my names mixed up. Clint Ertl. Um... Believe it or not, is a really nice guy. <laughs> Look at that. That is so fierce. Uh, that almost looks like Joe West, but I don't think it's Joe West. No, it's not Joe. I don't think that's Joe West. But in any case, um, that's really cool. He was the manager for the Pirates during their big 2013, 14, and 15 seasons. Plus, you know, before that and a little after that, too. Manager of the year and... Um, Really just a good, nice guy, despite, um, <laughs> but dang, could he get fired up, you know, and um, there we go. So, yeah, nice four autographed photos here. Um, so there we go. I upload a TTM video every Monday and once on the weekend and on Saturday. So, you know, this would be like a, this type of video is my Wednesday or weekend video. I always appreciate it. If you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. All right, take care, everybody.